Today we're looking at the 89 mid icon Steven Gerrard. He's high, high, three star, three star. I packed him from the 88 plus mid or World Cup icon, so I'm kind of happy with him. Of course, there could have been some worse English centre mids that we didn't get. He can play CDM or centre mid. If you look at his stats, he's got really good rounded stats for a box to box. Going for a shadow today, but I'll drop in a bit more of an in depth explanation at the end of the review. We have got really good finishing shot power, long shots, quite good acceleration sprint speed. I did need it to be boosted, hence why again we're going for shadow. Gillian and balance, he does uh, concern me a little bit, but we'll see how we get on. Long pass, short pass, fantastic. Ball control, dribbling, good. Composure's okay. In terms of traits, nothing too crazy. But we'll talk about, as like I said, chem styles, price, and what I thought the card and much more have been at the end of the review. That being said, let's go jump into the game. I have a word for today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Night, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are playing in Foot Champs. We're playing in a 4 triple 2 system. So he's going to be next to Marquisio. And his main job is basically him driving forward into that space. is going to be sitting back for us. And we need to know what it's like between sort of penetrating from transition. If he gets a chance to shoot, we can score with him. His link-up play, because that's a really good pass here. We're going to take a shot there. A bit of a bad choice. But that's going to be his role. You see here, just sitting a little bit deep here. Little one-twos into the space. Lovely pass. And that's exactly what we need Gerard to be doing. That's exactly what I'd expect from him. Sitting in that pocket of space, opening up the space if we can with the passing and just getting in behind the lines at times. Tackle. One thing I say about Jared is he's a little bit slow going into full speed, but once he's there, very good at getting through. That's an absolutely unbelievable pass. What a play there. That's exactly what we need from him. Transitioning from our own half, driving into the space. Absolutely beautiful weighted pass into the through ball, and we've got ourselves a goal. But he does feel a little bit slow. His body type, like I said, is agility and balance. You can feel it on and off the ball, that's for sure. He's a little bit slow going into full speed. He's just going to hold up for a minute. Back to Gerard. A little bit of work to do here. For the skill we can. The three-star skill moves are going to have to come into play here. Lovely turn. There's Ronaldo. And there's another assist for Gerard. You can see just his body weight. We're able to move from left to right. If you can do step overs, it's going to help you out massively. And you can see that is the role we're playing them in today in this CDM sort of box to box role. And this card so far seems very, very good. We'll see if our opponent raise quits or not. And he has raise quits. So we'll jump into a second game, but we'll just have a look at some of Gerard's performances for that game there. So he had eight dribbles, eight complete. You can see they're driving from just outside our box all the way through. And that's where we got our first goal. No shots, unfortunately, but we had nine passes. Uh, sorry, eight passes, eight complete, two assists with those, and three key passes. He beat nine players of passing, and then defender didn't make any tackles, unfortunately. Let's go jump into the second game. Into our second game, then, of the champs. You see, this guy's got a pretty good team. Got the new Di Maria there holding the World Cup, which is a pretty nice dynamic. So far, so impressed by Jared. He's done exactly what I'd expect him to do in that role. I don't think he can play solely CDM, but I definitely think he can play Cam, that's for sure. Gerard driving... Take a shot. Oh, it's a block, unfortunately. Had to take a shot of him. We haven't had one yet. Good turn. We've we not had a corner from that. I don't know. But you can see there, he does open up a lot of space by driving. Yeah, with a tackle. We don't get away with the ball. And that's what I said about him playing CDM. He does make tackles. He doesn't always come out with the ball, though. We do find him here. This is where he's best at doing that little pass there in between the lines. Oh, almost found Gerard in the overlap. That's so unlucky. He's got Rivery running through. What a pass from Gerard. That's perfect. That's a penalty, surely. How is that not a penalty? I don't know. For Gerard, bit of a heavy touch, and that's something I have noticed about him trying to go to full speed sometimes. Not always the best. At full speed, he's very, very unstoppable, but trying to get there, he's a little bit slow. Gerard lays it out. Still running with Gerard. We're going to use him as a dummy runner if we can. Lovely pass, and that's what we mean. I knew the pass was there as soon as he got it. Gerard finally opens up the space, cuts in behind, left foot across goal, and we have got ourselves another rage quit. That was a much tougher game. Our opponent was playing really well, as we can see here. Gerard had 20 dribbles completed out of 21. So in terms of actually driving forward with the ball, he's really good. It's just the left stick dribbling is a little bit difficult to do at times. Shooting, we only had one shot, and it was blocked, unfortunately. Just didn't have an opportunity in today's review to get any shots off of him. 
In terms of passing, though, this is a bit more of a realistic one. 21 passes, 16 complete. If you think we had 8 out of 8 the last game, that means in 29 passes, he had 24 complete. So he only misplaced 5 passes in 2 games. Defending, this is a little bit disappointing with the card. Even with a shadow on, he's a bit inconsistent with tackling. But I think we've seen enough gameplay today. There's only so much I can show you him doing the same thing. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So we are on Footbin, and as you can see, it's 215k. I think he was almost 300k yesterday before the SBC came out. And we did have a shadow on him. A shadow keeps him under controlled. It's a shame he can't be explosive because for me, I prefer to have explosive players. It means they go quicker from the mark off the spot. With controlled, they kind of keep the same speed once they get there. They don't slow down and lengthy makes them get quicker over time. But of course, lengthy has been nerfed now. So I don't think Architect's a good move for him. It really depends where you want to play him. So we played him in that CDM brackets box to box roll. We put a shadow on to make all the stats over 80. But in hindsight now, I would honestly try and look maybe at even a Hunter just to boost up that finishing and shooting more. Or even maybe an Engine just to boost up that agility and balance. I think his pace is okay. You're not expecting him to be lightning quick and he's not. The thing I didn't like about the card is his average body type. That's why he feels a bit clunky on the ball, especially with that low agility and balance. It means he's not the best at left stick, left stick dribbling, sorry. He's good at doing skill with freestyle. Obviously, if you can do step overs and stuff, that's great. But I wouldn't expect him to be doing much with the skill department. He can definitely play cam. He can play box to box. I'm not saying he can't play CDM. He definitely could, but it might be a little bit inconsistent in the top level games. But overall, I was quite impressed by the card. Am I happy I got him from the SBC? I don't know. I'm an Arsenal fan. I really rate Steven Gerrard. I think he was one of the best English midfielders of all time. The game doesn't quite give him justice. We had to compare him to his prime. They are very, very similar. So I probably got the better version of him in terms of what I could have had from the English centre mid that popped up in the SBC. But if you have any more questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.